Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about missing rainfall data. Suppose we have a catchment area and we have four gauging uh, rainfall gauging stations in this catchment area. And as we know that if we collect the rainfall data, then we need to require the consistency and continuity of the data. We have long term time series for all these stations. But in this case, if suppose for this station, for one particular year, the data, wa data was not recorded or data was missing. So how can we estimate the data at this gauging station using the data of neighboring gauging stations, these three gauging stations or as many gauging stations are there using the data of those gauging stations, how we can measure the uh, rainfall data of this station. For this we need to first know certain terms that is the normal rainfall. What is normal rainfall? Normal rainfall is the average rainfall of last 30 years. That may be annual average or daily average of last 30 years or monthly average. So depending upon that it will be called as daily normal annual rainfall or monthly annual rainfall or uh, annual average rainfall for the particular gauging station. Suppose at this station, suppose this station is X. So we have measured rainfall on 1st July 1980. So then next year 1st July 1981 and so on up till next 30 years till 2009. All the readings of 1st July, rainfall readings of 1st July will be averaged. So we have rainfall data P1 plus P2 plus up to Pn. Uh, number of years that is 30 that will be 30 years upon 30. This will give the normal annual, uh, normal daily rainfall for 1st July for that particular station. This is represented by N. So this is the way we can calculate the normal uh, rainfall of particular day on a particular station. Similarly, we can have the it annual average that we take average of every year. What is the average rainfall for 30 years and we again average it by dividing it to 30. So this will give the normal annual rainfall. So normal annual rainfall is updated after every decade that is after every 10 years we again calculate this for the benefit of uh, total rainfall uh, for, um, for calculating the normal rainfall. Now to calculate the missing data at this gauging station we will require two things. One is the rainfall data of the neighboring stations and other thing is the normal annual rainfall data of these gauging stations. So if the normal rainfall data of this station where the data is missing nx suppose we say that this as nx normal rainfall of this station is within 10 percent of all other stations that is the difference in the difference in the normal rainfall of these four stations is less than 10 percent is less than 10 percent then we can simply average the rainfall data and we can calculate the missing data for suppose for 19 we have data of 30 years and for the, suppose 1990 data of this station is missing. Let us say that is Px. Average rainfall data of this station uh, x is Px. So we can calculate Px as 1 upon m. 
this is station 1, 2 and 3. Rainfall data of station 1 for 1990, rainfall data of station 2 plus station 3 for 1990. In this way we can simply average these 3 and we can calculate the rainfall data for the missing uh, missing rainfall data for this station X. Where M, M is the number of station excluding this station X. So it will be 3 and we can calculate this data simply. If the rainfall, uh, if the difference is less than, um, is more greater than 10%, uh, if the difference in the normal annual rainfall is greater than 10%, then this average method will not be suitable, then we have to go for mean ratio method. So in that case, the formula used will be to know the missing rainfall data will be Px is equal to Nx upon M, P1 upon N1, that is rainfall data for year 1990 suppose we have for first station divided by normal annual rainfall of that station plus P2 upon N2 and so on up to pm upon nm. So in this way we can calculate the missing rainfall data. To explain this we can take an example. Suppose there are four stations. This is station we have missing data and these are station 1, 2 and 3. So the normal rainfall of station 1 and 1 is suppose say 76 mm and 2 is suppose <coughs> 78 mm. N3 is 84 and Nx is 80. So the normal rainfall at this station is 80 centimeter where we have a missing data and at station 1 it is 76, station 2 78 and station 3 84. So when we um, take it 10% uh, of this data that is normal rainfall at missing station then if we add or subtract 10% then it will be the range will be 72 to 88. Since all the normal rainfalls are within this range 76 is greater than 72 and less than 88 similarly 78 and 84. So the difference in the normal rainfall is less than 10% so we can use simple averaging formula. And we have the normal uh, rainfall data that is rainfall at in the year suppose 1990 at station P1 it is 81, station 2 P2 it is 84 and at station 3 it is 87 and at station X we don't have the data. So we can simply calculate it using the formula px is equal to 1 upon m p1 plus p2 plus p3 so we have 1 upon 3 81 plus 84 plus 87 so this will give us 3 will be common so it will be outside to 27 plus 28 plus 29 so it will be 84 mm so in this way we can calculate the px the missing rainfall data at station x now let us change the scenario little bit
if suppose at station 3 we have rainfall data and the normal rainfall as 90 then this uh, rainfall uh, normal rainfall is not within that within 10 percent of it since it is outside the range 72 to 88 then we can't use the simple averaging formula then we have to use the other formula that is px is equal to nx upon m p1 upon n1 plus p2 upon n2 plus p3 upon n3 so nx is 90 and we should write p1 p2 p3 here p1 is 81 p2 is 84 p3 is equal to 87 and px is not known so nx nx is 80 80 at station x the normal rainfall is 80 80 upon 3 number of station excluding this station so we have stations 1 2 3 80 upon 3 p1 is 81 n1 is 76 plus p2 is 84 n2 is 78 P3 is 90 and P3 is 87 and N3 is 90. So we can calculate this and we can get the missing rainfall data for a particular year at this station X. Thank you for watching our video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification of next videos.